What's up, you guys? It's game day. Welcome to the first and ten NFL New York Jets podcast. How you doing this morning, brother? I'm good. I'm good. We're gonna have a guest on in a little bit talking Steeler football with us today. Uh, we, we woke up to some news this morning. Yes, about two hours ago, the news came down about Hassan Reddick. The deal is done. Woody got it done. Woody playing GM the last week, firing Sala, bringing in Devante, getting the Hassan Reddick deal done. My question to you is: Is it a what the saying? A buck late, a day, a day short, a buck? What you know? This team never fails to piss me off. Yeah. Okay. I I get it. I get it. We're always off. We're always a freaking day late and a buck short, like I said. The all the freaking all the freaking time, man. Yeah. This guy was at the game last Monday night. Supposedly, okay? yes. Supposedly, yes. Would you wait till this Sunday morning for to make a deal? Not that he's in football shape anyway. We don't know that. Supposedly but, he's, but if you brought him in here, he was here Monday night. He should have been in the building Tuesday. Kevin, forget all that. What you're saying is 100% right. But from what I'm hearing from Ian Rappaport and a couple of others, the fines cannot be waived. They, they first reported earlier in the, the, the Jets breaking were, news. Was Jets that, were going to waive the fines. Waive the fines. Yes. Now they're saying those fines can't be waived. I'm sure the Jets are going to figure out how to pay those fines. They'll figure Whatever's it out. Whatever's done. Listen, that's above my pay grade. The whole point being is that in the end, in the end, we waited seven games. No, eight games, because tonight's the eighth game, right? We're two and five. No, we're two and four. Tonight's two the four. seventh game. Yes. I'm sorry. The point being is that seven games gone by. A week before the season, we knew about this holdout. In the end, Hassan Reddick is playing for the remainder of the contract, which is nine point something million. Why didn't Woody jump on this eight weeks ago? If you lose tonight and go two and five, what the hell's the point? Exactly. Exactly, the season, Kevin. The season's over. Exactly. Just just like just like you should have had Devante a week earlier, so you could have had him in the Bills game. This is what day I'm, late, day late, and a buck short. And this is what I'm saying. We all want to give Woody props, and we're making these jokes, maybe thinking is overrated. Blah blah blah. If Woody was the owner we thought he was, the Hassan Reddick deal should have went down 10 weeks ago, 8 weeks ago, 9 weeks ago. So we have a fighting chance with this man. If you're 2-5 and five and he comes into the building on Monday, what are the chances we're going 8-2 and two or 9-1 and one or 10-0 and oh to, to, to get we're a not. playoff spot? We're not. We're not. We're not. Kevin, let me tell you another. Let me tell you another thing. New England's winning right now. I don't know what the final is going to be. We still have a lot of football. New England wins, and they're two and five. We lose. We're two and five. We're playing New England last next week to stay out of the basement. Stay let out alone of the, the playoffs. Forget the playoffs. We're playing New England next week to stay out of the basement. Well, you would think that if by some miracle we can win tonight. You would think next week in New England, <laughs> with Devontae Adams, Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Hassan Reddick, maybe. Yeah. I, I, you would think you could dismantle this team. Yeah. And they're I mean, on short, and then they're, on short they're playing the they're playing the Jaguars this yeah, morning. No, they're, not I know. they're not playing the Chiefs or the 49ers. I like, get it, but my whole point being is that this is a league of records. It's not who you play, it's what your record is, right? right and if the right. Jet New England wins tonight and we lose, we're both two and five. Yeah. Pleasant thought, isn't it? Yeah, on the on the Sunday morning. Well, that's what I'm saying, Kevin. We brought in all the hey, hey. gentlemen. We have a guest. How, how are, are you, Jay? Good. How, how are, are you? you? Good. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming on with <sighs> us. Give me one second. There we go. Take your time. Yeah, no problem. Take your time. Before you got on, we Kevin and I were just venting how this Jet team, and I know you're a Steeler fan, uh, how this Jet team is always a day later, buck short. I, I don't know if you saw this morning, the Jets have now officially signed Hassan Reddick. He will be in the building tomorrow. But we were saying, we're just giving you a, a glimpse of what we were saying, is that if the Jets lose tonight to the Steelers, we're 2-5. and five, It doesn't matter. All these moves were a day late. 
and you're probably not fighting for a playoff spot anyway. But mm-hmm. anyway, mm-hmm. tell us, Jason, how are, how are you feeling? How are you, what, how, what made you become a Steeler fan? And tell us a little bit about your take on your team this year. All right. Well, as a kid in the 70s living in New England, the Pats sucked. They never sold out, so they never, were never on TV. And my dad, for some reason, was a huge Cowboys fan. So two of the Super Bowls, who did the Cowboys lose to? Pittsburgh. Hmm. And then you throw in the Mean Joe Green Coke commercial. I was hooked. So it just seemed like every book report I did in school was on Mean Joe Green. He's the one that got me to become a Steelers fan. Yeah. And just ever since, and... um but the state of them now, I mean, yeah, they got Bill Cower, which was great, you know. And then it just, towards the end, it became watered down. It was run, run, pass every time, run, run, pass, and the offense was stale. And then Big Ben comes in, and they kind of reinvent things. And then it was, all right, time for Bill to go. So they hire Tomlin. I'm like, all right, this guy's young. He's got energy. You know, this is going to be great. And then... Remember, people used to be afraid to come into Pittsburgh and play. That's been gone for the last 10 plus years. It's just, it's time for a change. He's got to go. Easily, they should have had at least three more Super Bowls with the teams they had. And I don't want to hear, well, Brady, Belichick, the Pats, you know, there's always an excuse for Tomlin. So I don't know. I would, if I were you guys, I wouldn't worry about the Steelers tonight. I just wouldn't. No, listen. You know, you know, Jay. We got a, we say, got a history where we worry about every team. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, you, Jason, you see this, but yet in your four wins, you held your opponents under ten points. That's incredible. That's you know, like I it feel, is. I feel to be in your situation at fight. You, I'm not trying to mock you. You listen. I'm like, thank you. But you're four and two. We, I feel to be four and two, Jason. I get it. And now I see your point. But now my point is every year for the last five to 10 years, it's been that everyone would kill to be in opposition. But then what what happens after they choke? They can't if they do make the playoffs, they lose in the playoffs. He's just I don't think he's a great coach. Um, it, he, he was a good coach. And I get the winning records. I understand that most teams would kill to be in that situation. But as being a Steelers fan in the Steelers way, you kind of expect more than that. Okay. Yeah, I get it. So, I get it. Just just to throw this stat at you so you feel a little better about tonight. We're two and ten all time in Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. Two and ten. I, I get it. And it and so the the, it, the, the whole quarterback is, situation. Is on your side. Justin Fields is doing well. Yeah, I'll give him that. But What's going to happen five, six games down the road when they need to really win? And and I get the defense is playing well, but, and I'll give Justin Fields his credit, the defense isn't on the field for half the game like it used to be. So he's given them at least, he can do sustained drives. They can get three points, seven points, whatever. But mm-hmm. I don't know. It's To me, the quarterback isn't the problem. To me, the coach is the problem. Oh. And I don't think you'll ever change my mind at this point. What do you think about the field switch? Again, that's Tom not being a good coach. No, now you're going to crush this kid's confidence. Say I mean, it doesn't kids, pan out with Wilson. What are you going to do? Switch pad, okay, I was, I was wrong. You're going to come back in. Hmm. It's just, it's that, it's that. Um, his mentality as, as a head why, coach. I don't know where it's at actually. Why do you think that he made the switch? I, I, mean, I don't know who why does he do half the things he yeah. does. <laughs> Here's my take on this. When I see a team like your Steelers, and you know them far better than I ever will, and they're four and two, and Fields is playing somewhat decent, and you're making the switch, it leads you to believe that ownership say we made the trade for Russell, we're paying Russell, get Russell in there. Because this seems like a bad move to me when you have a winning record and you're as of now in the playoffs, you want to make a quarterback change? Yeah. That that leads to ownership to me. That's what I'll say. I'm not trying to stick up for Tomlin. You know him way better than I do, but when I see a move like that, I'm thinking, really? Oh, listen, uh, I'm I'm agreeing. Ownership from ownership down, it's a mess. Mm. It's an absolute mess. Yeah. But I don't I don't know. And that people are like, I've had this conversation with other people. Oh, well, 
well, he's never had a, a losing record. Who else is out there? I don't know. And, and then, well, look at this. I don't care about this team or that team. Right now, he is not the, the right fit for this team. And, and look at how the, the players just – the players love playing for him because he doesn't hold anyone accountable. I just don't – the whole – the culture just, in that locker room is trash. Listen, it's garbage. We've gone through the same thing. We've gone here. through that. No, no, no accountability. That's all you've heard our players say for yes. weeks now is accountability, yeah. accountability. Yeah. Now, Jason, it's, I understand this is your take, but speaking to other Steeler fans, do they feel the way you do? Some do. Most yeah. don't. Yeah. <clears throat> most side yeah. with Tomlin. Yeah. And you're starting to see more and more come out that are against him, especially now with what he's doing with the quarterback situation. Okay. He's okay. not helping his case any. I'll tell you okay. that. Well, the reason why, hey, the reason why, hold on, you. Kevin, hold on a second, give yeah, me a second. Okay, Kevin, ahead. Jay, the reason why I asked that is because we kind of went through that with Salah. Now, we haven't won deadly with Salah. Salah had 20 wins and 37 losses when he was fired. And yet half the fan base felt that this man was cheated, that this man was robbed. And I'm thinking to myself, are you kidding me? His message went stale two years ago. The fact that he lasted three and a half years in this league with 20 wins is pure utter nonsense. And I've always said it started at the top. This organization's been a laughing stock. It's just it just amazes me. Like, I grew up like you did, I, and Kevin as well. We saw those Steelers teams, my, me, me and Joe yep. Green. They were yep. great. They were awesome. You knew every year they were going to be there. So to hear you say disarray and chaos, I'm like, wow, I would take your four that, and two chaos that's, over. That's me. a word you would say. But it's a different situation. That's why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's what's kept Tomlin there. And that, I'll say, control disarray. He's managed mm -hmm. to keep them at least somewhat competitive and keep that stadium filled. Yeah. So they see that as a plus. Let's not get rid of it. Mm -hmm. But then when you go to that second season, the playoffs, they're nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. I understand that. I guess, I guess, Jay, because as Jet fans, we haven't seen the playoffs for 15 years. Yes. I, I, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head. I can't remember. I'm getting old. In 60-some-odd years, we have maybe 15, 16 winning seasons. So when I see your coach doing what he does, I'm dying for something like that, you know? Exactly. But I, I, I guess listen to what you're saying, I understand the frustration. It would suck every year making the playoffs and then getting our asses kicked in the first round when we know we should be doing better. Yeah, so then you I start taking you. my attitude going, all right, this guy isn't – and there's years where they've had a winning record, 8-8, eight mm -hmm. and 9-7, eight, and seven, whatever, yeah. and then they don't make the playoffs. And then when they do make the playoffs, people get excited and what happens? They're in for that same letdown because mm -hmm. he can't coach. He can't make the adjustments they need to make. Hey, Jason, if you had the chance to play GM right now, who do you want next year? I'm assuming if the Steelers don't make the playoffs, will he survive another year? He's not going opinion? anywhere. He's okay. not. He's not yeah. going anywhere. Wow. I don't see it. Um, they, what did they sign him for? Another three, five years? Okay. Three, um, okay. He's not going – unless he, he quits on his own, he's okay. not going anywhere. And this uh, whole – they I mean, the last <clears throat> five to seven years – Offensive coordinator's fault. Offensive coordinator's mm. fault. Offensive. Well, you're the head coach at some point, and they're all his guys. Yeah. So no, so, I, I, we went through the same shit here. First, it was Lafleur, right? Yeah, we couldn't wait right. to get rid of him. Exactly. And look, look what he's right. doing with the Rams now. Look yeah, what he's doing course. with the Rams now. Yes. It's a, there's always an excuse. Bad, bad. I mean, I'll give you that. Tomlin is. Ten times the coach of Salah, in my opinion. Yes. But. Oh, a hundred percent. Your guy was just out there at press conferences, smiling, saying what he needed to say. He was yeah. a nice guy, so people went to that. That's why yeah. they say he, he's feel they feel like he's been cheated. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No yeah. way. So when yeah. you're, you're twenty and thirty-seven. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't been cheated. You're the one that's you, cheating. You've your been doing the cheating. You're robbing yes. the paycheck. You're robbing a paycheck. And exactly. that's like we, yeah. And we said on this show he should have been fired after season three. He should have been let go. I, I and every, you know every Jet fan always has sympathy. Oh well, if we didn't lose Rogers, it would have been a different exactly. Story. I, I, Jay, I've been a Jet fan since I'm six years old. I'm 54 now. Of course. 
I always say when I'm six, how much football did I understand? Exactly. That's not the point. The point Plus, is that I've seen this shit story with this all my organization year after year, and I just get tired of it. Parcells, I get tired of it. Parcells won games with Ray Lucas, so I don't want to hear Exactly. It. So I just – I'm originally from Massachusetts. I just moved to North Carolina four years ago. I had to sit there and watch the Pats – dismantle the Steelers every and then listen to all my buddies going huh and I want and I'm saying and I would watch the Pats game and I would sit there and I'd see Brady have at least eight to 13 seconds to choose what he wanted to do make a make a sandwich back yes. there eat it and, and then, then I'm, I'm going why aren't they following what the Pats are doing and whether yeah. Belichick needed Brady Brady needed Belichick I don't know but I saw a winning formula there that you would think most coaches would try and figure out. Mm -hmm. But, and I get it, the game's changed. It's a, a player-friendly game. You want to pat him on the back. You got to coddle him, and I get it. And again, I'm 50. I just turned 53. What did I know back in the 70s about football? But we've seen enough to know how it should be. You're right. And Absolutely right. Them players are more worried about their, their celebrations after a play than the actual game itself. So maybe it is a lot harder for a coach to coach nowadays, but I don't know. Andy Reid seems to be doing okay. I mean, <clears throat> think about when Jerry Rice would score a touchdown. Did he go through all that crap? No. no. He the ball back to the ref. And, and, yeah. And oh, you, you want to spike the, the ball? Lines. That's fine. You've been doing it for 50 years. That's fine. But when you got to do a dance and a whole stage show, theatrics, honestly, the game of football is getting hotter and hotter for me to watch. It's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> You're not the only you. one who says that. And, and you know what gets me, Jay? You know what gets me? We watch these celebrations, interceptions. The whole defensive team runs into the end phone. They do their yeah. dance. No penalty. Now, I'm just talking about my team and how I feel we cursed. I watched Alan Lazard two weeks ago catch a ball, fall down, and do this, and the ref throws 15 yards. And you know what, Jay? I know this is going to sound stupid, but it makes me wonder, with betting being legalized, are these refs up to no good? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Right? right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank they you pick and I'm choose playing. when they want to call it. Exactly. Yep. Because yep. that was the stupidest penalty. But 11 guys in the end zone doing this, celebrating a touchdown dance, no, you know, it's not a penalty. I don't get this league. That's I the don't NFL's get this league. fault. That's yeah, the I NFL's agree. fault. I agree. And I'm glad you're saying it, Jay, because I feel like the new school of fans don't get it. They think we're old curmudgeons and we're all exactly. Nah, football is football. Nothing should have changed about this game. You know, I understand they want to protect the players and all that. But this flag after flag after flag. I guess now, why Jay, I said I'm it's on, getting I'm, hotter and hotter to watch yeah, the game. It yeah. really is. Jay, I don't know if you watched the Monday night game. Hold on a second. I don't know if you watched the Monday night game because it's not your team. Kevin and I sat through a 60-minute football game and watched 22 accepted penalties and almost 10 to 12, I believe it was, non-accepted penalties. That was like a penalty every 45 seconds. How do you enjoy a game you when can. the rough is on TV more than your star players on yeah. both sides and, of the and field? One, and one minute we'll call the – We'll call it on somebody, and then the same thing happens five minutes later, and we don't call yeah. it. And then that, when it, the we'll whole betting again, thing, yeah. Uh, my son, God bless him, is a Chiefs fan. He's nine. He loves Mahomes. You know, okay, Mahomes is a, a good quarterback. I hated Kelsey before the Taylor Swift thing. I just he's one of those guys. I wish somebody would have helmet to helmet and knocked him out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So last year, the playoffs, when they're playing the Ravens, right, we're watching, Lamar breaks off a run, stops to look to see who's there, and then slows down. And I'm going, why did he just do that? And even my son goes, yeah. It's like he was waiting for someone to come get him. Now, is that yeah. – I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I hear you. I, I know we joked around. I don't know if you watched a lot of our episodes last year. Kevin and I always joked around that maybe there is some truth to the script that we keep, the, those little yeah. jokes we hear that. Games are scripted. Games are this yeah. way. Yeah, I mean, because, it, I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. The Chiefs love right now and all the breaks I feel they get reminds me of the Brady days. Reminds me of the Brady days. Listen, I had to, I mean, you guys being in the AFC East, you know, you've seen them. I watched those games and there were times where it was like, 
I remember I went to my cousin had season tickets. We went to a game. They played Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And I could have cared less. I was just going to enjoy the game. Yeah. So who was Buffalo's quarterback at the time? Shit. Oh, man. How long ago it was? Do you remember? It, 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 it's definitely before Allen. It wasn't Flutie. That's too long ago. No, maybe 2009, 2010. Okay. Fitzpatrick? Fitzpatrick? No. Damn it. Well, whatever. I can't remember who it was, but the Pats sacked him. They called uh, roughing the passer. And the kid next to me is getting all... I go, listen, buddy, if that was Brady, they would have had the SWAT team in here. They would have escorted the Buffalo players out. Yeah. And he kind of looked at me and he goes, yeah, you're right. Listen, <laughs> listen, I I can remember watching games where you looked at Brady cross-side and, you, yeah. got a, and, and yeah. you got a roughing the passer. Meanwhile, our QB would get knocked into Oh, tomorrow. Roethlisberger used oh, to get I, killed. I didn't, see any, I didn't see anything. I don't think Roethlisberger ever got up and went like this or the flag thing. He got yeah. up and went back to the huddle. I don't know if I ever saw Brady get up and cry like I see Mahomes. Oh, always. I oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he used to no, get up. No, else is guilty of that. Uh, 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 Allen is too. That flopping bullshit. That oh Allen yeah, big does. time. You know, you well, because they know they're gonna Allen. call it now. That's yeah. why. Yeah, you can just graze by Allen like the wind, and he does that flop, yeah. and the flag comes well, right out. Like you know, a, a, a pass down the sideline. You got the wide receiver already doing this before he's going yeah. for the cast. Yeah, yeah. Because they know they're going to call it. Yeah. And, and you know what, Jay? They play, and Kevin knows this, the players we grew up watching couldn't play in this league today. No. Could no. not play in this league today. Mel Blunt could not play in this league today. Could you imagine Tatum playing in yeah. this league today? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. By Ronnie looking Ross. at them, he'd Ronnie have them in tears. Ronnie yeah, Ross. Ross. Well, the Marty Lions, the, the infamous giving him the business, Marty Lions would have been kicked out of the game. That game would have been done. He would have been out. He would yeah. have thrown him out of the game. It's ridiculous. This has become flag football. 100%. And if and your mean, name, if you have a name, insert whatever name that's making this league money, they do whatever they can to protect you. Oh, I'm they'll sorry. run with it, yeah. You know? And just for an example, Monday night, last Monday night, it was a pass interference on uh, J.D. Reed, okay? Where? Where? Yeah. The, the flag came out like five to six, seven seconds after the supposed foul. Because attack. somebody went like that. Somebody yeah, went yeah, like yeah, that. Right, and right. that's when they decided yeah. to call. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's that right. that's, Yes. I think it's time for Goodell to stop worrying about overseas games and next year having 10 more overseas games and look at this officiating. The players hate it. it. Yeah. Of course they do. Of course so who are you but, doing this for? Yeah. The owners and the money yeah. that's being made. Yeah. All yeah. Right, so let's get back to the Jets. What about your new wide receiver? Yeah, oh, I'm the, excited. I'm I like excited, that guy. I, <laughs> I feel like, Jay, I'm being honest as a Jet fan and Jet fans hate me because I'm honest. Again, it's a little too late. This move should have been six days ago, eight days ago, a little too late. Now, I understand the Raiders were holding things up. It's not all the Jeff on. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to act like, oh, Jets wanted him. They should have got him. I know the Raiders were holding it up, but I don't know how much he's going to help with this O-line being Swiss cheese, with this kick it can't kick, you know? He cost us two games. All right, say you guys win tonight. You're three and four? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that whole AFC is garbage right now. So yes. it might not be a little too little too late for you guys. You have to look at all the other teams and what they – so what's going to happen with Pittsburgh now? They're putting a new quarterback in. How's that going to affect it down the road? Mm -hmm. I mean, Cincinnati, good God. Yeah, wow. Yeah, right? Right? Yeah. Nice figure, man. And I thought Baltimore would be cruising through the season, but they're struggling. Yeah. Yeah. You never know which Buffalo team you're gonna get. I mean No, true. And and that's and that's why we said, Jay, like again, in the beginning of the year, before the season starts, Kevin and I give an update on what we feel our jet team is gonna do. And it's always when you look at the schedule, you always go by what those teams did last year, and you can't. Like I looked at no. our schedule, and Kevin said it too. Oh, this is a cream puff schedule. Whoever thought Sam Donald was gonna become Brand talking to him, and exactly. they're five and zero. Oh. Yeah, 
Exactly. So fans who think, oh, this is an easy schedule. It's not. It's a, no. it's a it's, you Any can't go subject. by what happened last yeah. year. It's a whole different beast. A whole different beast. I'll just, as a Jet fan, and Kevin knows this, we always feel like there's a cloud over our head. We could be given the keys to the, the castle yeah. and we shoot, will drop bro. the keys down the manhole cover, never to be seen again. <clears throat> it's just Jet law. You That's know? to the point I've become in the last five years about I don't get excited for that for the games anymore. I don't expect much because I know it's good. And then you got people like you said, if you tell the truth, how dare you? How dare you? Well, I'm only calling it like I see it. Yeah. 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 I, listen, Jason, we follow each other on social media, but I don't know how deep you follow me when I talk football. And a few years ago, Jet Nation came after me because I said, Getting rid of Sam Donald was the wrong move. I remember sell that. that. Sell that pick and build around this kid. All right? And everyone called me a loser, told me I wasn't a real fan. Are you kidding me? What did Zach show anyone the throw, to say this the is going to be in our shorts. future? The throw in shorts at the combine. The yeah. in <laughs> well, same thing. When I said Tomlin needs to go, First thing they said was, why? Because he's colored? Good um, God, you idiots. Yeah. Come on. And you know what, Jay? Because I'm not a Steeler fan, I even asked you. I don't know if I DM'd you or we talked. I said, really, Jay, how come? You know, and that's and I really wanted to hear your take. So I'm glad you're here telling us. Because it's, it's the same thing. Like, you, again, and like that time they won the playoff game and they're all on Facebook posting Facebook messages. Do you think Belichick would have allowed that in that locker room? Yeah, no. No. And I get the players didn't like Belichick, but you know what? They won five freaking Super Bowls. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Tomlin is liked, but they can't win shit. No, you know what we Solid. forget to, you know what Solid, we forget but... to understand? I'm sorry, Kevin. Go ahead. You go first. They all loved Sol. It was the same thing. And yeah. yeah. They suck. You're you... going to win. You know what we forget to understand is that because we're getting older, these are still young kids playing the game. So as soon as they do something, they're living in the age of they want to post it. Social media, social media, social mm -hmm. media, you know, highlights, highlights, highlights. And I always remember Herman Edwards say, 24 hours before you post something, positive or negative, and after the 24 hours, you still feel that way. Then posted. I don't know how many times Source was arguing with Jet fans and then he left social media. First of all, as a football player, my job is to be the best I can be. I should not be on this app seven it's days a week. professionalism and it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. You're yeah. going to argue with a fan because they said something about you you didn't like? Exactly. Come on, it's time to grow exactly. up. You don't have that anymore. And you're right. And you know what? It's come to the point today where... The player is already a brand before he puts on that uniform. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, the, uh, you any, and I'm not talking about your team and just my team. All these teams, you have a brand now. You drafted a brand, and he wants to be all over Facebook, social media, TikTok, showing what he could do because he is that brand. He's not playing for the uniform anymore. How's He's that working for out for the kid name. in Carolina? Yeah, that yeah. poor kid. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Carolina, what do you do? You think you think Andy Dalton's the the answer? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> no. It's funny because I'm here in Carolina and they're like, well, we're, we're waiting for another one in 15 season. They know what's coming. Like, what yeah. are you guys thinking about? And the poor kid, I mean, like you said, they already had him as a brand before he yeah. even stepped onto the field. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> now they yep. want to lynch the poor kid. And yeah. now he's crushed. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and, and and he may never come back from this unless he goes to another team who sees something in him and has patience with him for him to learn the game and come along, you know? And I've seen some of the games, and I'm sorry. As soon as he snaps the ball, there's three guys already chasing him. Yeah. So you want to draft this kid, I get it. Build a wall around him first. Yeah, yeah. So. Long gone are the days, Jay, where you could sit your starting quarterback for two, three years and let him learn the game. Those mm -hmm. are gone. Those because like you said, now. it's a brand. They want to push yeah. that brand yeah. to make the NFL money. And yep. yeah, regardless of what jerseys. happens to the player. Yeah. Sell the jerseys and everything. So, so how do you so how do you think the game's gonna play out tonight, Jay? Tonight, I mean, 
like I said, I, I don't have any more expectations with my team. <clears throat> you guys, I've always – it's funny. The Jets are, have never been a team I disliked. I, I don't know why. Same, I just never yeah, had. Yeah, same with the Steelers for me. Yeah. I never. And um, you guys have always had a good defense. Um, you have a great quarterback right now. Is he what he was 10 years ago? No, but he's a better option than what's out there now. Yeah. Um, and you, I'm not familiar with your O line, and you're saying they're Swiss cheese. They're old. <laughs> you know what? I'll, the I'll half old, it, half the half. Yeah, I'll take it back. In in pass blocking, we're tops. We we give Rogers some time. The running game seems to gone to crap, and we were you a got, strong running. You got a team. great running back. Yeah, and he seems to have disappeared. <clears throat> and we're, Kevin and I are convinced he's nursing a, a minor injury that the Jets aren't telling anyone about. You know. Okay, so I don't know. Again, and it also comes down to play calling. Your first drive, open it up, five yeah. wide receivers. Get that passing game going so then the run game becomes efficient. Exactly. And I don't know why teams don't do it because, again, I'm going to go back to what I said before, watching the Patriots game. Nobody did play action more or better than Brady and Belichick. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you guys use play action more? No, <clears throat> I mean, again, I don't know. Good no, Jake, but it, it's question. funny. It's funny that you're not a Jet fan. You just see little highlights and hear things. Kevin and I have been begging this team since the Sanchez days to, for the first play, just come out and throw a bomb. Throw Win, the lose, ball. or draw. Open up that field. I remember Sanchez's first play as a rookie. Now, regardless, Jay, it was just preseason. He was yep. on off four-yard line, and he threw a 55-yard bomb down the sideline, and everyone got on the Sanchez bandwagon after that because it just brought some life to the team, opened up the game. Exactly. The London game. We got the London game this morning. Remember the <clears throat> London game with Fitzpatrick? Yeah. The bomb to, Mar to Marshall on the yeah. first of the game all the way down the, the left sidelines well you think okay say say you're a very you're a strong running team rather than a pass okay mm -hmm. you come out you get your running game going if that's your strength again <clears throat> we've been around long enough to know what does that do it opens up your passing up, game of course. So you go with what you're straight and that's what to me that's what belichick did the best yeah you know because i i watched it and i sat there and i'm going why aren't people – and I get you got egos, you want to coach your own way, but this guy's got to be on to something. He he never had great wide receivers. No. And when no. he did have Moss, they didn't win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. No, I great. Think one of the I think one of the keys to the game tonight actually is our offensive line, specifically Morgan Moses against what? That, yeah, that's going to be huge. Huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got – listen, <clears throat> you guys – Take care of Watt. You're all set. I don't, I don't know if Ty Smith is back. I think that. he's hurt. I just – I don't know. If you can take care of Watt and kill with the quick passes. I think it's coming down to a field goal. I really do. Tonight. I, I really wouldn't do. doubt it. And uh, we don't have – these, these have teams, teams – In Pittsburgh with field goals. As These teams, Bryant. their defense, their, the defenses are good on both sides. So if this is a 12-10 game, I, I think that's more expected than a 28-24. Oh, easy. Uh, you easy. know, unless, this is going to be one Unless Russell of the, Wilson is out of control, I don't know. But yeah. I don't know what to, especially with him coming in. Yeah. So, and was he really hurt? Were they, like, what were they doing? Again, it's these stupid games that they're playing that – I, I'm just so sick of. Nine, 19, 16, 21, 21, 17. I don't like know. You, th you think they'll hit the 20s? I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah, I think this is going to be a dog fight. Yeah. I, I, I think I think the offenses – and I'm worried about our offense. I always am. And I, I would say on paper our offense should be much better than yours. But, again, I don't trust it. I don't trust mm -hmm. it. I think this is going to be one is of those. Is Adams 16... playing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And here's the deal. The one thing that the Jets do that I don't know if your team does or other teams do, I feel like we make a signing or we sign a guy off, the, off another team's practice squad and we never see them. You never the, Jets cannot, 
be pitch counting Adams tonight with this. For us as Jeff fans to see, yeah. Adams has got to be the main focus of this team tonight. And we have to see him be involved in 10, 15 plays at least if we want to beat your Who's team. Who's your other receiver? Uh, Wilson, Wilson, Garrett, Garrett Wilson. Wilson. All right. You guys got two <laughs> legit receivers. Yeah. Okay. And a decent enough, a good enough running back. Yeah. Come out, slinging the ball. It'll confuse Tomlin because it always I, does. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I agree with you. I said it. Kevin said it. I'm sure there are a lot of other Jet fans said it. When the season started and I looked around and I said, who are you stopping? This is before the Adams deal. Mike Williams, Lazard, Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Braylon <laughs> Allen. Go to a four-spread, five-spread receiver. Who are they guarding? The Jets never done that. It was handoff, handoff, pass. Like, yep. we sit here as fans, and we call the plays. Yeah. We call the plays. Yep. No matter who coaches our team over the last 13 years, we call these and plays. We what they're doing, the opposing defensive coordinator knows what they're now, doing. I'm assuming, Kev, I'm assuming Jay and Kev – Tomlinson's going to think that we're running the ball heavy tonight. The first play, again, win, lose, or draw should be a freaking bomb. 100%. Whether he overthrows it, underthrows it, it's dropped, intercepted. Give Tomlinson now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't the Jet team I remember from three years ago when we played them who was run, run, pass, run. Give those coaches on the other side something to think about. But they He'll think about it, but he won't react to it. That's all he does. He'll stick with the same game plan, even though it's something different that you guys threw at him. And that's, that's the big the same, problem. But, Jay, that's the same thing with Salah. He thought, in my opinion, he thought his way was the best way. He's never changed anything up, even when the fan base has begged him to change things up. It's I ego. I get that. Ego. Yeah. And otherwise... People would have sat there and said, well, wow, well, Belichick's got it right. Let's do what he's doing. Nope. This is my way of coaching. I yeah. don't know. Give a little. Try something different. Try exactly. something here. Try something there. Yep. Oh, it's work for him. Let's see if we can do it. And what I loved about Belichick is when he was playing someone, uh, like say they were playing Green Bay with Adams and um, um, Rodgers, yeah. they're going to neutralize your strongest point. That's what yeah. you do. He'd go after your big guy. Not yeah. let's oh, hopefully contain him and maybe stop him. No, let's look what they did to the Rams in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yep. yeah. Take the best, their best player out of the game. That's exactly. Right. And they, yep. Guys, you know what else Belichick did well too? He knew that other defense planned all week to stop our best guy. So he had all his B's and C's beat you. He had because all he had them and... stick to their. He had them do your job. And that's yeah. what they did. Yeah. And if yeah. you didn't, you the sat. Edel, the, the, the Edelmans, the Welkers, yeah. That yeah. Always, they, they were killers. Yes. Yeah. And I can't believe we're sitting here on a Jet Steeler podcast waxing poetic about this mama. We, we all can't stand them. But yeah, we are saying we this are guy right has a the They yeah. were successful. We want a part of that. Give me right. some yeah. of that. Yes. No, yes. exactly. <laughs> exactly. I agree. Again, we'll bring it back. So, Jay. The reason probably why you're not the Jet hater, because the rivalry between our two teams is far and few between. I mean, the rivalry started back in 1970. We've yep. only played you guys 27 times over those 54 yep. years. Yeah. But you've crushed us. You beat us 20 out of seven, 20 times yeah. out of uh, uh, seven. Yeah. We're seven and 20 against you guys. You know, the first eight games, I think, of the first time we met, you guys crushed us. We didn't, the first time we beat you was in 88. How many times this... did we meet each other in the playoffs? None. Mm. Once, 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 right? The once. AFC Championship. So yeah. the games never mattered. Twice. Yeah. Never, oh my God. Twice. We can't beat yes. them to get to the playoffs. We can't, okay, you know what I mean? All right, all right. So they were very mean. Four? They were just regular season games. Yeah. They didn't mean much. They were never yeah. that must win game. Yeah. So that's why there was never a rivalry. Yeah, no, exactly. And if they, but that's what I'm trying to say. If we played more like a yearly basis, yeah. you might say, oh, the friggin' Jets can't stomach this team, you know? Yeah. Two times in but, the playoffs. Two times in the playoffs. Yep. Okay. 2004, okay. 2010. Okay. Sorry. My bad. Before Doug Bryant. Yeah. Look, oh, that try Twice. when he shanked it. That how try. Man, how many years? Four years. How many playoffs? Yes. And that's it. Yeah. You can't yeah. build a rivalry off of that. No, no, true, true, <clears throat> true. 
But I'm saying, like, even even when we play you guys, it's been so lopsided. Like, you know, you beat us the first nine times from 1970 to 1986. You beat us nine times before we even got our first regular season win. So it's hard to build a rivalry when it's not, you know, and like, as close I, and like as... I said at the beginning, in Pittsburgh, we're two and ten. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, are you got is it Pittsburgh tonight? Yes. Where are oh, you? You'll be three and ten. <laughs> I hope you're right, Jen. You're right. Right to God's ears. Yeah. It's but when you guys had Rex for your coach, mm -hmm. I don't know. I liked him. Always liked that guy. Especially, yeah. I don't know. He just good guy on the press, like after the post and pregame. Just I don't yeah. know. He was a guy that I never had an issue with mm -hmm. at all. Hey, that was 2010, right? AFC Championship. Yeah. We yeah. didn't get off the plane in the first half. Which <laughs> finally yeah. showed up in the second one. But yeah, but um, again, yeah, I know, he was again, like, day late, buck short. Yeah. yeah, typical jet. Yeah, 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 definitely. But yep. yeah, but, I don't. I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys won tonight. I wouldn't. This could be the game where you guys bust out. You never know. I wouldn't be surprised, be. but I wouldn't be surprised if we do something stupid and you win. <laughs> yeah. This has to be for us, Jay, because we can't fall to two and five. If you fall to two and five with ten Over. games remaining, Over. you pretty much have to go nine and one. I forgot Over. what the numbers go down percentage wise. It's like ten percent or under ten percent for a two and five team to make the playoffs. So two, I don't know, maybe five. maybe five, two, ten five, years five. ago I would have agreed with that, but with the way the NFL is now. I don't believe that anymore. So much parody, hey, Jay, yeah. So taking, taking the taking the AFC as a whole, and you're looking at it right now. What is the most a team could lose, in your opinion, and make it as the six seed? God, seed, I'm going to go six or seven. Okay, I, I the right. Steelers what, always do that. That's what yeah. the Steelers do. Ten and seven, wow. yeah. I'm hoping for that, Jay, because that's the only thing that keeps the numbers in our in I mean, a who? little bit in our favor. Other mm -hmm. than Kansas City, Baltimore, San Diego, very inconsistent. Like who else is there? Chargers are the perfect right. example of like you were saying earlier with your Steelers, great regular season, shit the bed in the playoffs. And that's, the, and that's what you expect of the Chargers. Now, they have hardball now. It might be a different story. But I expect the Chargers somewhere along the line to have a shit the bed game, to, to falter somewhere down the season. And, but, and Buffalo, you never know what Buffalo team you're going to get. Yeah. Yep. They can yeah. be hot and cold. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, Cleveland's done. I don't know. To me, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh could be that and that bubble team. Like, I don't know which one's going to shit the bed first. Mm -hmm. What's there? San Diego. There's Kansas City. Um, who else is in that division? God. Well, we know everything's going to run the, through Kansas City in the AFC. Uh, Oakland. Oakland's in that the Raiders. division. The Raiders. And Denver. Yeah. Who I has? mean, Denver. So, I mean, Denver's got a great defense, but I don't know. Is that kid going to – I don't know how that kid is in Denver. I mean, we beat them, but it was a it was a close game. They put 30, now, they played a shitty Seattle, Saints team, whether that Saints team's already given up. But what you have to like about Manning – and not Manning uh, – uh, uh, I forgot the coach's name. I'm getting told for Denver – Payton, the way he's doing Sean things. Payton. Yeah, the way he's doing things. You watch Denver, and the offense gets a little better every week. Those babies. That's there. what you're supposed to do. Exactly. And that's something Kevin and I never saw with Soller and Zach Wilson. Oh, I'd take Payton saw... in Pittsburgh any day. I would oh, love for him to be the coach of Pittsburgh. Mm. Yeah. I love it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'd take, I'd, take, I'd take the assistant, our buddy, Mr. Westhoff. Yeah. yeah, we. Yeah, it's funny. My brother, my younger brother, is a huge Cowboys fan, mm -hmm. and I don't care. They're having a shitty season. They're gonna get Belichick. Their Belichick's not going to Dallas. There's no way in hell he'd go to Dallas. Not with Jerry Jones there, but I, I, I don't know. There are better you know coaches what? out there than Tomlin. You know what I think? I think if the Giants continue to not have a great season and spiral down. Could we see Belichick replace Dable? Probably it's know. where he came from. He likes the Giants. He yeah, could. that's a good the question. Is, 
I said this last week as a joke. You see Belichick now, and he's doing these commercials, and he's on all these podcasts, yeah. and he's pretty likable. He's, you know, he's, he's having a blast. Yeah, he's having fun. fun. He's How shredded. He and I he shredded the Jets stuff. and Woody Johnson. Yeah. The yeah. Night on, oh, on the but how cast. does he go back to coaching when we know, Coach, you're a fun loving guy. Now he's you're going go to go back to. He's not What's gone that? up. Yeah. I was watching um, Julian Edelman has a podcast. I was, saw a clip and he had Bon Jovi on. Mm -hmm. And Bon Jovi has been, I didn't know this, tight with Belichick oh, yeah. for years since the oh, 80s. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. He said back in the 80s, he took them, he took Belichick on tour with them, and he was a blast. A oh, completely shit. different guy. Yeah. Well, Belichick was the one who also, and Kraft, who also gave Bon Jovi how to run an organization. Because don't forget, Bon Jovi bought the Philadelphia Soul back in the day, that yes. football team. Yeah. So he's learned a lot from them. But my point was like, we see Belichick and he seems like a cool guy. How is he going to go he's back not. to coaching and he's give not. us? He's not. He's having a blast where he is. Yeah. How's he got that go back to a 24-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. He ain't so much fun. 24-year-old girlfriend. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine that. God bless him. Hey. Yeah. Who hey. hell needs the coach? <laughs> yeah. Just before before we let you go, because it's always been on my mind. I know you're a metalhead. That's how we yeah. met up. And I know you like overkill, right? What made you dislike him? There you go. Well, what made you not swear and say? What makes you dislike him or Bobby not G. like him? As much Bobby after Gustafson. Bobby G left. Bobby Gustafson, to me, was the band. Okay. He wrote, <clears throat> when he joined the band, he wrote all new stuff. They were just doing covers. He yeah. came in, wrote all the stuff, and <clears throat> and I met, um, there was a place in Boston called The Channel, where we used to go see all the shows. God, I missed that place. It was over by the river. Remember that show Spencer for Hire with Robert Ulrich? Mm -hmm. I used yep, to yep. show it in the, the opening thing. And I used to go, oh, my God, we were just there. So I remember I must have seen him five or six times there. And one time I'm walking by, and there's Bobby Gutterson standing like this on against the pole. And they had just given out. It was like a, a little five by seven of the four of them. So I looked, and I look, and he goes, yeah. I go, can you sign it? He did, and then he kicked me in the ass on the way out. It was just, it was awesome, you know? And I don't know, his guitar work is phenomenal. I just, and let's face it, Blitz's voice isn't the easiest to listen to. You know, I just think they did him wrong. To me, it was it was Dee Dee Verney. He wanted to start using his stuff. Bobby's like, no, I got mine. I guess he went and complained behind Gustafson's. I mean, it all depends on whose story you hear. We but to me, Overkill him. was Gustav. We played with him in his last show. Who? Uh, Bobby. Really? Yes. Yes. It was a benefit thing we did at Ramapo College in Mawa, New Jersey. And it was them and us. And that, that was his last show with Overkill. Was it Halloween? No, it was uh, in June. It was like the 22nd, June 22nd, something like that. I, I think there was something like that where they, where they yeah, did a night. benefit. And, yes. And I guess that's when it all started. Yeah, that, that was the last show with, with him and Overkill. I can't remember what happened, but I guess the other two were pissed off. They wanted to get paid or something. And he was like, no, this is a benefit. And that's when it all started. And then Dee Dee started crying about his music. and But to me, it was always Gustafson. Always. I don't know. I never, I never knew the background to it like that. But oh, yeah. I, because I, I mean, he's here. I mean, the magazines. And for a while, like, I was talking to him on Instagram. Like, this is how it went. I sent him a message. He didn't answer back. And I go, if I was pussy, you would have answered back, right? And he typed back, you got me. And then we started talking. Yeah, yeah well, I, and then I got I, him on Twitter to maybe yeah. with um I can't remember who the other guy is, Metal Finder or something. Uh -huh. Ron, I think is his name is, and maybe get him back into the community of music to get out there. And for a while he was with that band Violence. He joined yes. Violence. Yes. But I guess he just the logistics couldn't didn't work out. So he was back in I think Jersey or New York. 
Yeah, and he's got like his own thing. There's a yeah, Satan's, Satan's taint. taint. Yes. Well, Jay, that's what I was about to bring up. When he joined Satan's Taint, or he started that, he was following me. We were following each other on there. And we were religiously talking because I kept trying to promote that CD as much as possible. Same but, here. But then some knuckleheads ripped them over the name and started going after them and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And he just got rid of everyone. And I was so pissed at that because he was finally interacting a lot more. Like I was talking to him. And I never met the man just on, on X and on Twitter at the time. And a lot, like we were really going back and forth. And I was trying to get fans to buy the album. I was constantly posting the CD, playing the tracks. And then some knuckleheads decided that they knew yeah. more than him. And they went after him. And he just shut down, period. And it was Which a is, shame to me, because... I think is what he does when there's ever drama. Because, I mean, Slayer, my favorite band. Lombardo's my all-time favorite. They were in a band together. An eye for an eye. And he said, I couldn't handle the drama between Lombardo and his wife. So to me, whenever there was drama, he was like, I'm out of here. And I think that was a big thing with Overkill. You know what? You guys are going to be like this. I, I, I don't, I can't handle this. So I'm out of here. So I, I don't know what I'd love for him to go back to Overkill. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Do I ever see it happening? Probably mm. not. No. Mm. Drama in anyway. a band sucks. You, you got to realize you got four or five, whatever it is, personalities. Egos, personalities. This, one, this one's got to get along with this one, and then he's got to get along with him, and him, he's got to get along. You know, it's like a... Yep. Yeah, it's like a, a relationship. It's like a yes. marriage. Yes, a marriage, yep. yep. Yes. When, um, when Jeff Hanneman died, and everyone was like, why is why aren't they reacting? The Like, why aren't they crying? Well, first of all, they're not going to cry, but... You know, and this is the all four of them. Once the tour is over, see you later. And mm. that's how you're supposed to do it. Otherwise, you're going to kill each other. Yeah, no, exactly. And this one, I mean, and Kerry King even said, he goes, Jeff had his own circle of friends. Yeah, we were friends, but off tour, he was off with his people. I'm off with mine. Tom was off with his. his. It's like you have to, because if you're up each other's ass, you're going to kill each Never other. Never works. Yep. yep. Agree. Yep. Agree. Anyway, Jay, so you like the Jets tonight, right? How's this we, deal? Uh, I'm going, to join I'm going even. Whatever happens, I'm not going to okay. be the least bit okay. surprised. You want to okay. join? You want to join us for picks today? I can't today. I got too okay. much crap going on. Son's okay. birthday parties and all right, there's too much crap. But we'll, yeah. so we'll let you go. Thank you for joining awesome us. Awesome to chat with you guys. Love you guys. Yeah, pleasure to have say, you on, man. We say it to everyone. Yes, Kevin, just play. Whenever you want to pop on, you have something to say about your team, even if it's five minutes, let us know. You said your brother's a Cowboy fan. If he wants to pop on and talk the shit with us, tell him. This is Jay, there's nothing. St we don't schedule anything. We don't no, I get anything. It. You know, when we tell people, we literally just come on and talk as fans. We don't have... 100 notes, nothing fancy. Oh, no. You know? Just a we conversation. Just yeah, it's a, all it is. It's a bunch of guys having beer and pizza, really, and just hanging out. So spread the word. Let people know your family. So when you want to pop yeah, on, definitely. you let us know. Thank hey, you so you much. Ever, you ever try and get Bobby on here or no? No. I, we should try to reach out. Should try. Well, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Maybe I'll shoot him a message. Yeah, that, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. Would he do it? I don't know. I don't know if he's a fan of this stuff. Okay. He's a giant fan. All right. Talk yeah. to you guys later. Yep. All right, Jake. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good having you. All right. Thank Take you. Take it easy, man. Well, that was nice. That was nice. That was awesome. I love having the fans on and people who just relate and could talk football and no airs. Perf. That was awesome. That was really awesome. But Absolutely. Yeah, Kevin, in the grand scheme of things, are we a, a day late? I hope not, Kev, but I'm really worried about going into Pittsburgh tonight. I don't yeah. and it's not because of the offense, it's because of that defense. I'm afraid JJ Watt's gonna walk out uh, not JJ TJ Watt is gonna have like three sets and make Morgan Moses look old. But we'll see. I hope not. I really hope not, Kevin. Listen, you gotta show up and you gotta start fast. Yeah. Kevin, we have to win tonight, beat New England. And then do whatever we can to beat Houston on a short rest. Yeah. You know, we got to go into November five and four, 
Not the worst four and five, but we cannot lose tonight. Listen, you tonight's lose tonight. playoff, playoff, playoff mentality for this Jet team. You lose tonight, the seasons. That, that's it. yeah, yeah. Tonight's playoff mentality for this team. Like somebody said it on, on X. Every game now has to be treated like it's a playoff. Yes, well, it is. Continue it for is. another week. Yeah, you yeah. lose tonight, you're done. In my opinion, yeah. I mean, you yeah, know, no, nobody, I agree with you. I, nobody I, I, comes I, back. Nobody comes back from two and five. No, but I'm hoping Jay is kind of right and you could get in at 10 and 7 and squeak in because other teams will have injuries. But I'm also worried that other teams are going to get better and we're still uh, fumbling the ball all the goddamn time. You got to you gotta put together like a six-game win streak, five, yeah. six-game win streak, and it's got to start tonight. Or, or Yeah, it's over, yeah, man. yeah, agree, agree. All right, Kev, do we get to our picks? Let's go. In the All league right, well, where they play for pay. Let's go. Just to give everybody uh, a catch-up, you won nine games last week. I won ten, and that's only because I picked the Chargers over Denver. You took Denver. Uh, but anyway, the overall, I'm winning by two games, 41 to 39. Oh, it's tight. So we'll see. It's tight. Oh, it's always tight. It always comes down to the final week with you and I. Tight. Let's go. Let's see how you do this week and I do. First game off the docket, Seattle at Atlanta. Who do you got? One o'clock game. Seattle traveling to Atlanta. Across the country. To... Oh, it's early for them. That's like nine o'clock in the morning for them. Ten yep. o'clock. Yeah. Oh, give me the Falcons. Yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I hate to say this is an easy one because I so want this to be an upset special, but I can't. Tennessee at Buffalo. It's killing me. I'm taking Buffalo, but I, I know I shouldn't. I would love Tennessee to beat this friggin' I, team. I saw that. Um, who the hell is playing quarterback? It's not Will Levis. I used to be on the Steelers. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Mason. Mason yes. Rudolph. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see. Um, I mean, how can you go against the Bills at home? And out? No, I know. I know. As, as much as I'd love to see an upset. Yeah, I would love for that to be the upset special. Uh, this game for me, uh, I, who, Cincinnati at Cleveland. I'm just because of the quarterback. I'm going to take Joe Burrow and Cincinnati. Yeah, I got. I got to take. I got to take the Bengals. Yeah. Yeah. This now, this said to you off camera, the Jets game should have been, the Jets should have been moved to like the one o'clock time. This is another game that could have been flexed in all place, but all right, it is what it is. Houston at Green Bay. I have Green Bay. Who do you Good like? Game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Packers. Oh, yeah. Home. Absolutely. Yep. 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 And that's probably the game I'm going to watch today. They're giving us the Phillies Eagles here, mm -hmm. but I'll go and, and, and switch the, to uh, the revenge the of Saquon. What's that? The revenge of Saquon. Saquon, today? yeah. He might run all over them, right? <laughs> oh, here's another game I hate to pick because the team that I really want to win doesn't look like they're any good, but Miami at Indianapolis. Give me the Colts. Yeah, I'm with you just because I hate Miami. I can't do yeah, it. I can't there you do go, it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this is another good great good game. Reason that any, right? Yeah. This is another great game that could have been flexed into the uh the night game tonight. And this might be a game I, I know I said Green Bay, but now that I realize this game too, I might also look at this one. Detroit going to Minnesota. Can Sammy D go to six and oh? No. Can Sammy D beat Detroit and go six and zero? Oh? Detroit's no. without Hutchinson. You're taking Detroit, huh? Wow! For the hell of it, I'm going to stick with our boy Sammy, and I'm going to take Minnesota to shock everyone and go six and zero oh at home. Six and zero. Oh. Yep. Yep. All right, Kevin. We, we were just talking about the Saquon revenge game. This might be another upset special. Philly at the New York Giants. Do the Giants get their third win? No. No. All right. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna take the Giants. Sa Sa that Sa Saquon says you made a mistake today. 
I'm yeah, sure. I'm gonna take this New York mystique, Yankees last night. Yeah, Liberty tonight, yeah, Jets tonight, Mets tonight, Giants today. I'm gonna take the Giants. What the hell? I'm gonna show my New yeah, York. You go, pride. you go. All right. Vegas at the Rams. Who do we got? Vegas oh, at the Rams. Give me the Rams. Raiders are a mess. Yep, a I'm mess. with you. I got the Rams as well. This should be an easy one for both of us to choose in the 4 o'clock spot. Carolina going to Washington. Wow, might you're thinking be, of... Might not be so easy. Wow, okay. I'm taking Washington. Who do you have? <sighs> yeah, give me the commanders. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I was, I was thinking maybe, you know... Dalton has a great game or something. Anything could happen. Anything could happen, right? Anything in Sunday. Yep. yep. And and this is the, the this is the four o'clock game, the four thirty game that everyone I believe around the country is getting. Chiefs at the San Francisco 49ers. How good a, ga how good a game is this? I hope it's a good one. I, I just don't know if the 49ers could hang. I really don't. And now there's talks that they could be trading Debo at the trade deadline. Wow. Yeah, I didn't hear I, that. I, I don't know if that's just you know fodder for you know likes and you know. I mean, I'm taking it, the Chiefs either way with this one. I think as much as I want to take the Chiefs, I gotta take I gotta take the Niners at home. At home, okay. With, with, the, I understand. with the revenge game for the Super Bowl. Okay, I understand that. I understand that. And the Sunday night game. We both taking the Jets. We don't have to talk about that, even though. All right. I mean, how could you not? Playoff football tonight. If you're a Jet fan, this is if the playoff. If you lose tonight, it would, what's the, yeah. this may be now, the I last know, time we take them. <laughs> yeah, I know the Steelers are not treating it as playoff football. But for us, this is a playoff game. Yeah. We need to win yeah. to get Listen to three and four. To beat New England, hopefully the following week, go four and four and salvage the season. And, and you know, we keep going with this season begins tonight. Season begins tonight. Like I said to you last okay. week, season began last week. Now I'm hearing all these Jet fans coming on, jumping the, the, the shark and saying, season begins tonight. Season begins tonight. Yeah, okay. Your Let's season hope. could end tonight. Yeah. Yeah, just end the season. Let's try tonight. Let's try to keep it going. Yeah. So there's something to play Live to for next week. to see another week. week at this point, yes. right? Exactly. Exactly. And we're getting two Monday night games again, which I find yes. odd this late in the season. Me too. Me too. Yeah. That's usually the start it off that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Baltimore going to Tampa Bay. Who do you got, buddy? Give me the Ravens. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. And the second game that's kicking off at exactly 9 o'clock, West Coast Special, Charges at the Cardinals. Who do you got? Who do you like? You made the Chargers. Yeah. Yeah, that was easy. I'm with you, too, even though this is a, an Arizona home game. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Hey, so, you, got a, you got a Pat score? I don't. Do you? Let's see if I can find one. Give me a second. Give me a second. I see 22 to 10 Jacksonville. Yes, that is correct. 39 seconds left to go in the half. Jaguars up 22-10. Wow, so they woke up. They woke up. Listen, if we can win tonight, they won't even show up next week. Yeah, let's hope. But they always want to beat us, no matter who coaches, who's playing. And that's at New England next week. So, anyway, we can't even worry about that. We got to get through tonight. Yeah. Well, we got to get through tonight. Let's go a few more hours, and we'll see. Yep. We'll tee it up. Let's not yeah. let's not uh have a Doug Bryan. Oh please. You, you know, Kev, you were saying accountability. You were screaming accountability. And the Jets brought in three field goal kickers, right? This yes. week to try it. But from what I got, they let Zerline know his job wasn't on the line. So what what, what was the point? What was I the understand. point? Everyone's going to say, you do your due diligence so that if he stinks, you know you could go back to one of these guys. But what's accountability then? What does accountability mean? What you're really trying to say is that we're giving you a chance. We're giving you a chance. We're giving you a chance. Look what we might do. 
yeah, we know we're bigger and stronger. We can do this anytime we want, but we're not. If he misses a field goal tonight in any point of this game, I'm sorry. I think he's got to go. You know, and I and I, I know Kevin. I, I, I'm flipping ice because when you said about the Denver kick, and I gave him the benefit of the doubt because it was 52 yards, but those two shanks last week that really caused ridiculous. us a first those were place ridiculous. game. Yeah, like when you think about it, if he makes those two kicks, right, right, we're four and two and feeling good about tonight, feeling really good about tonight instead of two and four and biting our fingernails down to the cuticles that we're bleeding here. Make one of them, and it's a tie score, and you don't yeah. know what's going to happen. Well, yeah, because you have been the Buffalo Bills are forced to go for a touchdown if, right. uh, unless they're going to play for the tie. Agree, Kev. Agree. Agree, I, you know, but same old, same old. I mean, and I'm saying to myself, he can't miss again. And what yeah. does he do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Kevin, I said to you in our post game with the Denver game, when he came out, that was the only sure thing, and he shanked it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm back to when he comes out, squeezing fear. You know, I he used to come out, and I used to relax. I knew it was a sure thing. Yeah, and now, a, right. yeah, and now I'm back to, oh, my God, holding my head, biting my nails, not wanting to look at the TV. What are you going to do? Jets, 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 right? Uh, we'll see what happens. Yep. All right, brother. We'll talk All right, later. You guys, enjoy the games today. Hope your team wins if you're not a Jet fan, of course. But, uh, hey, make some comments. We'd love to have you guys come on and shit. Be great. Talk some football. Exactly. All right. Thanks All right, to Jay guys. again for coming on. Thank you, brother, Absolutely. for joining us. Great having him. And I don't know, Jay. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Jetta. Have a good one.